Apple announced QuickTime 6. We're doing video Woo! at a Macworld Expo. You know, it's the same, in many ways, the same old QuickTime. They haven't updated the interface at all. What was a really cool interface some time ago is now starting to look a little old. It's a same, classic. It's a classic. Same kind of capabilities as before with one big major exception. They've added MPEG-4. Now, MPEG-4 is a true standard. Now, this is a video. I asked Patrick, you know, whenever you're testing a compression standard, you want motion, lots of motion in the video. So I asked Patrick to move around. Put down my cheeseburger. <laughs> you can see me chewing. <laughs> He's really moving. So this is a video of Patrick moving around. It is about, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, what is it, 20 seconds? I'm doing my Martin imitation. And it no, weighs in. This is uncompressed DV video at 42 megabytes. MPEG-4 is not going to replace MPEG-3, I mean MPEG-2, which is the current video standard, or MPEG-1. Right. It's designed to be a uh, low bitstream version of MPEG-2. In other words, for streaming media. And it, it, it actually does a pretty good job. Let me close this I mean, in theory, uncompressed. It could be used for DVDs. It could, it could be, be used, used for, for anything. Storage. It could be used for archive. But, but it was designed to stream over the web. Usually when you encode something uh, for streaming, it's a, the, MP3 is a good example. It doesn't do well at low bit rates. It was not designed for low bit rates. This was designed for low bit rates. Let me take the same video, play it back. This is now going for 42 megabytes to 70, 776 kilobytes. And it actually still looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Not bad at all. It looks better, I'll admit, it looks better on, on the TV at home than it does on you the You see some artifacts device. on the desktop. I'm going to go even smaller. Let's go down to the 56K version. This is small enough. Just can't see enough of me this bouncing is gonna, around. That's right. This is, this is small enough to stream over a 56K modem. You want to see that over here, Paul? And one of the nice <laughs> things about, uh, about MPEG-4 is it really is designed for these environments where you could have bit rates as slow as 56K. Yeah, of course it doesn't look as good as the uncompressed but version. But it's like one 470,000th of the size. It's, it's actually almost one 100th the size, one hundredth. which is pretty amazing. That's a pretty serious MPEG-4, Microsoft does something they call MPEG-4. It's not MPEG-4. Mm -hmm. It's Proprietary. DivX is a copy of the Microsoft MPEG-4, but it's not real MPEG-4. This is both uh, Apple and real networks are going to support the true MPEG-4. Uh, I think it's a very good standard. I think it's, it's competitive with DivX, and because it's an open, true standard, I think that's a good thing. Anyway, one of the reasons to look at QuickTime 6. To know more about QuickTime 6, go to the website, screensavers.com. To encode this video, you'll need to pay for the $30 player. It's free to play them back with the QuickTime player.